you are coming across this video, there's a message here for you. This message is a timeless reading for the energy of Capricorn. Those dealing with a Capricorn, wherever you got Capricorn placements in your chart. Oh, the messages are fast. So the reading is timeless, so whenever you see it, trust that it's the right time for you to see it. Trust that that is when you are supposed to get the message. And then take the timeline, you know, provide it accordingly. Obviously, always remembering that this is a general reading. Capricorn, have you been dreaming big? It says, it's so interesting, you see my hand was there and then I pulled it back and it says, you know, ready for new horizons, almost like a question. And then, <clears throat> sorry, just getting some water here. And then it's follow up with get ready for new horizons with an exclamation mark, you know. Sorry Capricorn, Adrian here, Psychic Tower Reader. I get a nice calm sense from this. I see you easily, Capricorn, moving forward into the next stages of your life. You know, if things have been challenging, you can look forward to them getting better. If things have been great, then I'm really happy for you, and they're about to get even better. All right? Just maybe draw another oracle card for you. These messages are beautiful. I really love this deck of cards. My sister actually gave it to me in 2019. It's a very personal gift because, um, you know, it's, it's a deck that she's been working with personally and that has been very helpful to her and came into her life at, a, you know, at the right time, really. Um, so it's a very beautiful deck of cards to me as well. Oh, let's see. And I know that when this deck presents itself for a reading, you know, be it online, be it in person. I know that it's serious business. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. You know, I don't know why, but this card always gives me a very Gemini sort of feeling. You know, because, I mean, with me being a water sign, I'm a Cancer, and, you know, there's a sense of freedom and flow in the water, but it's like this air energy bring this lightness in. You know, like a, like a, to, norm, to me, normally says that there is a race vibration. So, Capricorn, if you have been putting in the work, and I, I do sense that you have, otherwise this message wouldn't come up for you, you know, that work is really beginning to pay off. You know, so you can really start looking forward to some beautiful things that can start coming into your life. All right? Let's see what the universe has got to say to us about that. What has spirit got to say? Spirit, pure divine creator, energy of life, force of all being, us being a reflection of you, you being a reflection of us. What is the message, please? For whoever's watching this right now, what is the message that their heart needs? Please place it in a way that I can hear it and articulate it in such a way that they will clearly hear what they need to hear. We're going to draw three cards, the Hierophant. Okay? Yeah, so you are definitely going to the next step, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> it seems like you might have some trouble letting go of something here, Capricorn. Having some trouble letting go, maybe having some trouble cutting some ties, you know, having some trouble possibly moving on. Um, and, 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 and what you maybe want to look out for is the way that we sometimes do this. We start looking for, for reasons, very plausible reasons. They make a lot of sense, you know, um, plausible to in brackets. But for why it is that you, you shouldn't do this now, you know, and you say, you know, it's a, yeah, all it's a great plan. It's a fantastic plan if it just wasn't for the timing. But I feel that it is time now. The time is actually now, beautiful Capricorn. So if you are looking at this, whenever you are seeing it, if you have been feeling nudged by spirit, if you have been feeling that, you know, sort of like next level calling your name, you know, and you've been finding it super hard to ignore it, then this message is here to confirm for you, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorn, that the time is indeed now. All right? The time is indeed now, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Okay? Time is now. Time to take action is now. King of Swords, and you know it. You are of the, you are of the sanity of mind. You know, you are of the relationship with mind, beautiful Capricorn, where you know when it's time to move over into inspired action. All right. And inspired action doesn't mean that we that, that you know we do things that is to anybody else's disadvantage. It simply means that we understand the 
the motivation we put into everything and how we are co-creating with spirit. And I feel that there's something here that you'd really like to go for, and everybody's probably going to say to you, you know, be careful, don't do this, don't go for that, what if that's so bad, you know, don't start a company, don't marry that person, don't date that person, don't be friends with that person, you know, all those sort of, you know, ancient cautionary tales that's almost folklore in a way, you know, almost dark. Um, it feels like there's well, some of those warnings, but I feel that for you the time to go is now. And you might be shedding your pants just a little bit, Capricorn, okay? Um, let's see, what do you want to look out for? What is it that you want to look out for? Spirit guides and guardian angels, protectors of humanity. If you please step forth and just give some clarity as to what it is that my beautiful Capricorn needs to be aware of. Look out for, be mindful of. Just eat a little caution. Seems like you think you, you, you're cool with everything. <laughs> Two of Cups. I love that confidence of, of you, Capricorn. I really, really do. Two of Cups. Maybe, you know, you, you might have left a little dust in your, in your wake here, Capricorn. All right? So, you might want to, I'm almost going to say clear the dust in your wake. All right? It's almost sort of like something that you want to focus on. Any unresolved trauma, anybody with any beef with any hearts that you may be left broken, anything that it is that you feel that you need to say to someone, whatever it is that you need to get off your chest, get it off your chest. All right? Whatever it is that you need to get off your chest, my beautiful Capricorn, get it off your chest. All right? Let's see what our spirit might have to say about this. Let's consult the Oracle of the Tarot once more. What is this? What is this energy of having left something in its wake? What is this about? What's going on here? Can we please get some clarity and some guidance on that? Can we please get some clarity and some guidance on this? What is this all about? Spirit guides and guardian angels. Is it that you don't want to face something, Capricorn? Is it that you like, you know, I'm done with them. Why should I go back? What, what, what is this? I won't, don't even call it resistance. It's, it's more like stagnant, neutral. It's moving neither backwards nor forwards. But remember when things don't move, they can, you know, they start to, to like fester, you know? All right. Can we get a message, please? Can we get a message for Capricorn, please? evoke some regular energy into this space open your heart to receive healing my beautiful Capricorn for whatever it is that you might be challenged by out of out of direct connection with source what's going on here Capricorn it feels to me almost like if you always had psychic gifts for example you will say it's like I lost my gifts but you can't lose it because it's you it's who you are you know psychic ability is you speaking to yourself you speaking to spirit and you are spirit all right, it's the most normal thing. Some fears might need to be released here. Having the intention to release these fears. Down to the root cause. So that the individual or the group that is watching this right now who needs universal support in release and letting go and moving forward may, May it come in their life in the most beautiful, harmonious ways, in ways that only serve their highest good, and so it is. Let's affirm in spirit that we are turning the situation around. You're becoming reconnected with source, reconnected with the divine flow of who you are. There's a sense of a separation here from source, and that feels scary as hell. You know, it, 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 it's just a scary sort of thing. So it's maybe that's also why your message took so long to come through, because it's like, you know, with that whole space of like, you know, us as human mediums meeting spirit halfway, like, like I, I really energetically had to go take like the long route, you know, like the winding route, the scenic route. <laughs> All right. Six of swords, but you are overcoming things. You are overcoming the challenges. All right. I don't know why I'm getting this specifically. Maybe this makes sense for someone. And, and this is how it's coming through. You are turning lemons into marmalade. Now, I don't even know if you can make marmalade with lemons. 
I suppose I, I don't actually know. Um, and I, I don't personally like marmalade at all, but I kind of get it, and it's like a, it's it's almost like it's got like a like a ginger flavor to it. You know, maybe a touch of nutmeg that I can smell, and I, it's almost like I can taste it on like a piece of bread, so like a toasted piece of homemade brown bread, or like a very raw sort of um, um, what is that bread called? Like a rye bread vibe type of thing, you know, like a dark rye. But somehow I'm enjoying it. You know, somehow I'm enjoying it. I mean, the space, it seems like it could be a kitchen, but it could also be a studio. So maybe a kitchen inside of a studio. You know, maybe there's like a work set up for you. Maybe that's something that you are planning. Maybe you're eating there right now. I don't know. All right, let's see what messages do we have here from the spirit world for you beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Spirit guides and guardian angels, holy guardian angel, deceased loved ones. Clear messages, please. Whoever and whatever comes up in your mind now, know that there is that spirit that's connecting with you. Know that we are only opening our channel for the highest good. We're only opening ourselves for channeling that will serve you in the highest positive way. And regardless of the news that comes through, regardless of the guidance, it also always only comes through in ways that serve your highest good. That serves the collective consciousness positively. That raises your vibration. So that you come back in alignment with what your heart desires. Capricorn, there's a hell of a lot of stubbornness going on here. Cards are not coming out, cards are not coming out, cards are not coming out. Like, like what's the vibe, man? You know? <laughs> like, what's the vibe? Okay, spirit messages. Queen of Swords. It's like you're not, it's like you're hearing, but you're not listening. I don't really pick it up as a sense where you get messages from spirit and you're not sure if this is spirit, so I'd like to have it validated. I just get a sense here of you just going, ah, ah. And I don't know why it's coming up like this, but I get it almost like for spiteful reasons. So what's this about? Okay. Whatever the spiteful reasons is, the only person that really suffers when you cut off your psychic connection is you. Nobody else. Okay. Let's see what we have. Empress Energy. Something beautiful is happening here for you, my beautiful Capricorn. Oh, I get it. You've lost hope. You've lost hope in life. You've lost hope in love. You've, you've just lost hope. So it's almost like, even as you're watching this reading, you probably go like, nah, whatever. <laughs> you're probably like, oh, what does this do to eat type of thing? But so, what is the part of you that is actually maybe considering that, well, maybe it's not all bullshit. Maybe there's something there. Why would you have listened to that part? Okay. Final message from the spirit world, please. Ascended masters. Deceased loved ones. Who are you connecting to, Capricorn? Are you doubting the connection? Sometimes we want the connection so strongly that we don't get it because we're pushing so strong. We kind of push it away from us. Okay. Let's see. Let's get you a message from the Ascended Masters. What does this beautiful Council of Light have to say? How can they weigh in here for Capricorn? Ascended Masters, messages for Capricorn, please. It's a reset, it's a reboot. Okay? You are, it's like you're being rebooted. <laughs> you are being rebooted. Serious stuff. All right? Don't worry about the things of the past. They don't have that much of a hold on you anymore. Some, but not enough traction to sort of like mess up your life type of life. Let's see how this all weaves in together. How all of this weaves in together for you, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Four of Cups. Okay. If there are people in your life that are straight out bad, you know, they're just not good for you, Capricorn. You know, might be your mental state, your emotional state, but I'm speaking specifically of people that might be 
gossipers, making up little stories, you know, fabricated of imagined truth as real. It's time to let them go. Some people, or maybe one person specifically, could be riled up a group already. It's sort of like, almost like this energy where somebody kind of, you know, comes across almost like your hero, like your savior. But then they're actually the ones that are like, almost like conniving and planning your downfall. Okay. So be careful who you trust. All right. I mean, I know that sounds a little ominous to say that, but, you know, be careful of who you trust. Let me get another message on that, please. Different deck. Okay. No worries. We'll do that. Just listen to this one. Be careful who you trust. What is the reason for that? What is the reason for that? Ace of Swords. You know, I think what's happening over here, Capricorn, sometimes when we do something really, really dynamic, you know, it, it sometimes really reminds people of the parts within them that are not yet fully healed. All right? And that sort of doesn't sit very comfortably with them. And then they get all sorts of nasty, you know? Hurt people in the service of hurting other people. Now, if you know that this is going on, I would say stay out of the line of fire is what I would do if I were you. But, you know, sometimes... When a connection is severed, it's better to just let it go. Sometimes it's better to just let bygones be bygones. Okay? Sometimes it's really just better. Let's end off with some messages here for you from, from Gaia, my beautiful Capricorns. Beautiful Gaia energy, host planet. Our home in the galaxy. Our divine haven. A beautiful co-creators prosperity. What do you have for us? Two of ones. <laughs> it is literally that old saying, Capricorn, if you feel stuck somewhere, you're not a tree. Get moving. Okay? That's what Gaia says. I will provide for you wherever you go. If you could make it work on one part of the world, you can make it work on another part of the world. Gaia's energy is everywhere. All right? Gaia will support you. Gaia says, if you want to move, do not delay your plans, you know, based on, oh my God, what if I don't have a job, and what if I don't have enough, and what if things don't work out? No. I actually think that a lot of you are feeling sort of like this throttled flow of universal life force energy through you, and it's probably making you like all sorts of like depressed and tight and those sort of things, because I get a sense that you are... Um, you're not letting that energy flow, okay? You're not letting the energy just flow. And that could be why you might be feeling stuck in a space where you are, in a situation where you are. Don't Again, don't try to mend things, just move on. Very clear message. Don't try to mend things, just move on. With as much peace as you can, okay? Capricorn, that's what I say for you. If you're going through a difficult time, I want to send you some love, my beautiful Capricorns. If you're interested in deeper personal insight, reading, my other services, online coaching, everything is down below in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye.